Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys the newest release from Kaoli, Yum Pistachio Gelato. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in hearing, then keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Oshimari. On this channel, I talk about all things smell goods. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave today, as well as give this video a thumbs up. And if you are a returning viewer, hey, it is so good to see you. And thank you so much for all the love and support of this channel. All right, you guys, so let me start off by saying that I've been very, very sick. So excuse the raspiness in my voice, but I had to bring this to you. So as soon as I saw that this was available on Sephora, I jumped on it immediately and I've had it for about a day. I've been playing with it all day. Surprisingly, it came to my door really, really early in the morning. Y'all got here at like 7.30 in the morning. I was like, who's at my door? But um, yeah, it was this fragrance. And so I've been able to wear it all day so I can speak to the longevity. I can speak to how it opens and um, all of that. So let's jump right into it. This is what the bottle looks like. So I did go with the biggest bottle that they had because when I found out that they were going to have one that had like cotton candy and marshmallow and whipped cream. If y'all watch my channel, y'all know I love those type of notes. And so I was like, let me just stop playing games. I'm just gonna go ahead and order the biggest bottle because I kind of figured that I was gonna love this. So if you're familiar with the Kaoli brand, they start putting all of their notes on the back of the bottle. And so all of the main notes are listed on the back. And this one says that it has pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy in it. So this is what the automizer looks like. So it comes out like this. You see that? Ooh, and off of initial spray, ooh, you get hit with like a burst of like a bright burst of zestiness off of the bat. And that brightness that you get is 100% the bergamot that's in here which I don't think is listed as one of the keynotes, which I don't know why it's not listed as one of the keynotes, y'all, because you immediately get that. So as soon as you smell it, you get like a little bit of nuttiness and it's like a, a slight smoothness to it, but really it's just a huge burst of like, almost like lemons and like oranges. But don't let that scare you because that opening only lasts for about maybe two minutes, five minutes, then it starts to dry down and those base notes start to come out. So in the top notes, you have pistachio, you have rum, you have ice cream and you have bergamot. And bergamot is like a citrusy sweetness, right? So that's why you get hit with that like lemony oranginess. And then in the mid notes, you have a lot of florals and you have a lot of fruity notes, which is kind of surprising to me because I really don't get that much other than like the zestiness from like the bergamot. I don't really get the notes that are in the mid that much at all. Like in the middle, you have things like plum and you have pear, you have uh, geranium and jasmine. Then you also have white peach and you have lily of valley. So that kind of like sweetens it up. So maybe that's adding to the zestiness of it. But then once this dries down, that's to me when it starts smelling like, like a pistachio gelato, creamy, soft ice cream. And that dry down, that's when you get that marshmallow and that's when the whipped cream comes out and the cacao. Um, that's when like it turns into like a creamy, smooth, like um, delectable dessert. I was also watching Mona talk about this fragrance and I wrote a few notes for you guys. She said that they use some type of technology in here called STT, which stands for smell the taste, which means like when you smell this, it feels like you're eating um, pistachio gelato ice cream and it really does kind of give you that type of a feeling when you smell it like you know how I've talked about like fragrances making your your mouth water a little bit that is exactly the type of effect that you get from this one you guys it's gorgeous it's so pretty. Now, what I don't want you guys to do is go into this thinking that this is like a heavy, heavy gourmand, like um, like a cakey ice cream, thick, creamy ice cream, because that's not what this is. Think of a pistachio um, nut, right? But think of the creaminess of the ice cream. Like if you've ever had pistachio ice cream, right? When you eat the ice cream, it's not like that fragrance is like 
smacking you upside your head, right? It's not a beast mode scent. It's a very fluffy, creamy smell. So the name um, really is like dead on because it is a very yummy, sweet, vibrant, bright, perfect for spring and summer fragrance that I think any gourmand lover would love. But this is like a, this is for people who also are not really into gourmand. Like they're kind of scared to like walk around smelling like a cake or some type of cookie batter. This will be a crowd pleaser because it has that zestiness in it. And it has, you know, all those, you know, those floral notes like the lily of the valley and the geranium and the jasmine. So all those things mixed together, it just gives it a very sweet, creamy, um, but like approachable scent. It's not a beast mode scent whatsoever. It's a very sweet, soft, yummy, almost kind of like soft girl life. It's like one of those scents. So this is definitely gonna be like an easy reach for the spring and the summer. And also what I am gonna love about being able to reach for this is that, you know, I love my gourmands, but I can't wear those thick, heavy, choke me out fragrances in the spring and the summer but i can still get my fix of some type of sweet like cotton candy gourmandness without it being overboard with a fragrance like this i think that this is like nothing else that i have in my collection which i absolutely love and it's also nothing like her last release the um the vanilla royale sugared patchouli that one is like so the rum in that one is very very boozy right and it's a very potent and in your face very sexy very like rah, right this one is like feminine she like purrs and she's sweet this rum is like a sweet rum well the note in here is sweet rum but it's not a rum like her last fragrance this is like on the other end of the spectrum it's just very pretty sweet and spot on for the season that we are going into so i think that they did an amazing job on this and now to speak to the longevity i will say that it lasted on my skin about four to six hours it is a very lighter scent and i did have to keep on refreshing um but i don't mind that that's that's okay for me because think about it we're going into the spring and the summer you don't want something that's like too much you know you just want something that you know smells good but is not overpowering and it's just yummy, right? That's what this is. Now, I will also say that I was listening to Mona again, and you know she likes to give us layering combinations. So Mona mentioned three other Kaoli fragrances that she thought would be amazing to mix with this. And I tried all of them, but my favorite layering combination with another Kaoli fragrance is this with Kaoli's Eden Juicy Apple. Oh my gosh, y'all. If you don't have this, I'm gonna need y'all to go buy both of these together because this is so beautiful. I'm gonna have to put it on. It is, oof, y'all don't even know. So first I started by putting this one on, right? Oh, oof. And then I put this on top of it. So put it on top and let it mix together. Oh, and this one already is like a love of mine. It's just a burst of fun, happiness, juicy apples. So imagine that. Imagine pistachio gelato ice cream mixed with apples and like, mm, it's just so good. And y'all, this fragrance that is jumping off of my skin right now smells amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is, this is about to be a hit for the spring and the summertime. Y'all need this fragrance. Look at this. Don't forget this combination, ladies. This is so, so good. I also decided to mix it with Magnetic Candy by Finery because there's cotton candy in here as well. So if you are trying to make this a little bit more gourmand because maybe it's a little too much on the softer side for you, just go ahead and add this. Amazing. I was smelling so, so good when I layered these two together. But this is the one right here. This is my number one combination. So overall, I would definitely say that this is a hit. This is a hit, they did it again. 
It's so warm and cozy. It's uplifting. It's bright. It's fun. Ugh. And it's just yummy, y'all. And that is it for my review today, guys. I just wanted to jump on here really quick. I know my voice sounds really, really bad, but I couldn't wait to let you guys know what my thoughts were on this new release from Kaali. I think that they did an amazing job. I think that you guys will definitely enjoy this new fragrance. And don't forget that layering combo that I told you guys about because it is fire. Don't forget if you did like today's video to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not a part of the family, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care of yourself. God bless you all. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.